I have one more little thing for you, or should I say major thing? Of course, thing. yeah. I have, I have plenty of time. I don't have a hard out today. Okay, that's, so that's good. No. need a few more minutes, we can do that. All right. Uh, you've mentioned Lisa Ortez. You've mentioned Wayne Grace, and you've mentioned Eric Stewart, and you've mentioned Dan Green, among many other people that are a part of this grand project. What can you tell us about Crossing the Gods? Ooh, I can tell you a few things. Um, I can tell you like a little bit about my my character. Um, obviously, I can't tell you any plot points. Oh, darn! But um, I definitely <laughs> can talk about it. Um, um, Dan did give me permission to talk about it. That is awesome. I thought it might come up in the interview today. Um, and the first thing is, you know, it stands for Guardians of dimensional stability. Ooh. I am not one of them. I am not one of them. You're not? Um, I think I mentioned earlier that Emma Frost was morally ambiguous. Also, my character of Delmenea is also morally ambiguous. Ooh. Um, she has um, a, a difficult history. Uh, what's amazing is all these characters have, like, super intricate history, just like an, an anime, a successful anime would, or like a successful universe like Marvel or DC. Um, Dan has written this in every detail you can imagine is, is available to us, which is amazing because that is not always the case. So these characters are extremely complex, extremely layered, um, and, and therefore very exciting to play. But um, my character's real name is Serafima Vasiliev. She's from the Soviet Union, and she's from, um, from Russia. And um, what can I tell you about her? Well, I think first I should say, I think I might, I definitely was the first one to record. Um, I'm not finished yet. I have another session in a week or two. But um, I think maybe a couple of people have recorded since I, since I did, so it was exciting, he and I, to, to discover the script the first time together. Um, and I'm just trying to think of what I can tell you about her. Um, she's she's trying to basically she has you know many objectives, many you know bigger story arcs and desires. But she's she's trying to find out um, you know if an extremely powerful device uh, rumored to exist is actually real, and if so, where where it is. And so a lot of the crux and a lot of the um, drama and a lot of the conflict within it is about is about that. Um, not just for her, but for, for every character. And um, what she wants with it, you know, is a complete mystery. And I don't know if it will be revealed in it or not, <laughs> but, um, yeah. It, and also, it's, I, know, I can tell you this, it's going to be released episodically. I don't know how many episodes it will end up being broken down into, but it's about a 100-minute piece. Wow. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I read every character's description, which was lengthy and, you know, um, detailed. And then I got to read about the whole universe, and, you know, then I got to read the entire script first. And I know that seems like, oh, yeah, you know, but it's, it's, it's actually unique. Um, you don't always get all of that information. You don't e always get to, like, delve that deep and to understand everything. Um, thankfully, this is a prelay, you know, meaning we're recording it first, and then they're doing that after, but it, um, I'm trying to describe the, uh, the style of it, but everyone should definitely go to the Facebook page and check it out and watch the trailer because that will give you, you know, a better idea, but it, it's, a, it's an illustrated audio drama, so it's not an animation, and it's not, you know, a podcast either, it's like a, it's like a radio play with, um, you know, images to help facilitate, so it's not even a stop motion comic. It's something very unique, and um, it, you know, it might be, the, you know, one of a kind at this point. Um, what they're doing with it, and um, Dan is actually drawing everything himself, which is incredible. I don't even know how he's doing all of that, and you know, finding all the time, but um, but he is, and thus far the work that he's done on is pretty incredible. But she has special powers. I can tell you that. You know, she has different forms of telekinesis. She can create fire. She can intrude people's minds. Um, yeah, and she can burrow into their worst fears 
and that's one of her strongest powers. It's I'm not getting shivers. Power, but she's very manipulative, and um, she loves to expose people's weaknesses and, and then get them that way. Um, so yeah, it's pretty dark. <laughs> it's fr- it's pretty dark, and uh, it, it, it's similar to working in, in, a, in a superhero in a superhero's journey story. Um, I can liken it to that. So. Yeah, I mean that's one of the things that I'm that I've been working on that I'm really excited about. I mean I'm completely hooked. I've watched the trailer more times than I can count, and oh, you cool. t- telling us about your character. Yeah, and I get scenes with everybody. I think I have a scene with at least every single character. I think I have my character has more of a relationship with um, Eric Stewart's character. Ooh, um, we're closely linked in a certain way. Um, blacksmith. And then I do also have, um, you know, my son is Jason Griffith. Ooh. He plays, um, Sykes, my son. So I have, um, there's, oh, a lot of, um, I don't want to say too much, but the, in the, of course. the relationship is interesting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, but I do get to see, have scenes with everybody. I get to have a scene with Praying Mantis, you know, Lisa Ortiz's character, um, who I find that character fascinating. Um I want things for her. You know, when you discover her story, you will want things for her. But, yeah, there's a lot of amazing – And but what's interesting is I know all of these actors, like, really, really, really well, except for um, Tara Sands. <laughs> like, really? somehow, the universe never brought us together. Isn't that crazy? I guess it was waiting until now for this amazing project. Yeah, I mean, we've worked on so many things together, but we never crossed – physical path, which is insane to me. But, I mean, she left you know, to go to L.A. earlier than others. But, um, but yeah, I do, actually don't really know her. I just know of her and how, how much everybody and, you know, loves her. And stuff. So I have to ask one little minor question about this. What was your initial reaction, if you don't mind sharing, when uh, Dan Green or Eric Stewart or anybody brought this up to you saying, could you, would you be a part of this project? What was your initial thoughts? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works. I, mean, I was excited. I was screaming internally. Yes. Um, no, it was like, uh, what a great opportunity to work with people you love. And, that you've, you know, it's, it's really funny because it's like, um, it's, there's like character morphs within them. You know, like Jason and I are going to have this completely different relationship in this. And we're like Sonic and Blaze, um, Luffy and Usopp. You know, when Lisa and I are together, it's like we're praying Mantis and Dominea, but we're also Blaze and Amy and Luffy and Chopper. And, and you know, I'm just trying to think, Eric, you know, it's like Kaiba and Mai. That's, and that's scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all have so many amazing character overlaps and specific relationships in, in other things. Um, like, I think Dan and Greg have both played my husband many times, <laughs> like, <laughs> an insane amount of times. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have we have a lot of history together, and you know, it's not like the theater where you get to know people immediately right away and in kind of intense way, because we worked together over a long period of time, crossing paths here and there. You know, we weren't always working on prelays together where you're in the in the booth together. Um, when when we worked on Turtles and things like that, and Viva Pinata. Yes, you work um, with other actors in the booth, and so you get to experience that. And you have that camaraderie. But otherwise, it just happened with, like, parties they would throw every once in a while. You know, oh, my gosh, you play that character? How cool. Or passing each other in the hallway, or one of them ends up directing you. or um, So we all kind of met each other and developed our friendships and relationships over a, di- you know, a longer period of time. And... And in a way, that's kind of cool because you don't burn out too fast. You know, some people, you know, when they get too intense too soon, they kind of burn out. But, you know, all of us have maintained, not not everybody, I'm sure there's some conflict here and there, but most everybody really likes everyone and enjoys each other's company and especially this group of people. You know, we all respect each other and care about each other very much, you know. I don't get to see Veronica much because she's on the West Coast, and I I'll always loved, like, running into her, so I miss that. But occasionally I'll see her at a convention, and that's always nice.